Okay, hi everybody. So I'm going to review with you just how we uh, sit with the cello, okay, when we're ready to play. So the first thing you did was you took your end pin out, and I marked on everybody's end pin exactly where you should, pretty much where you should um, pull it out to, and then you tighten it up, okay? And then you're going to sit down. Remember, you sit on the edge of your chair, sit up nice and tall on the edge of your chair, right? And then with your left hand, you're going to push your instrument straight out in front of you this way. So your hand is straight, stretched out in front, and your child is straight up and down like that. Okay? You want to open up your knees, and our feet are both flat on the floor. So you're not sitting on a sofa um, or a couch or, or a comfy chair. You're sitting on a hard chair or a stool or a bench, something like that. So our feet are open and flat on the floor, and our knees are open because our child is going to get pulled back right between our knees. Remember the bottom peg here goes behind our left ear. And these little things called the ribs, the back ones, the ones near the back, are poking into your knees. So you don't want to wear shorts probably when you play the cello or you're going to have those poking into your knees. If that doesn't bother you, then go ahead and wear shorts. Our left hand and I'm, I'm different, so your left hand is going to be on this side. Your left hand just rests right here. And then we take our right hand, do a thumbs up, thumbs down. Touch your thumb against the edge of the fingerboard. The first string all the way over is called A. The next string is called D. Next one is G. The last one is C. You should be able to hold your cello with just your legs. The end pin on the floor, and then it's squeezed between your legs, and it's just resting against your body, right? This part right here, this like little bump thing here, that pretty much goes right in the center of your body. There's like a little bump or a hole almost right in the center of your chest there, and that's pretty much where this rests when you're sitting. All right, and that's how we sit to play the cello. Sitting up nice and tall, this is how you should look. So go ahead and practice your pumpkin paper. Remember when you're moving your cello around, especially if you're someone who's coming into school, watch out for that bridge, especially when you're walking around the halls and getting on and off the bus. We don't want the bridge to fall over. It's very delicate. Okay, go practice.